what's up guys lone driver mike again bringing you another video and uh in this video we're going to talk about how to get good ratings with food delivery now you think it shouldn't be that hard right it's it's very simple it's simpler than uber and lyft with uber and lyft <clears throat> you got to interact with people you got to navigate, you got to drive, you got to talk to them, you got to socialize, you got to put music on, you got to charge your phone. I mean, it, there's a lot of different factors that go into that. Um, but food delivery, it's like, okay, you pick up the food, you drop it off, right? And it's that simple, right? It should be simple. There should be no issues, right? Um, as long as you're on time, you have all the food items, you double check, and... Um, as long as you text the customer, update them, let them know what's going on. I always text the customer, be like, "Hey, um, just got to the restaurant. I'm, you know, I'm waiting on the food." I used to text them like two or three different times, but now I just text them one time. I mean, because usually um, <clears throat> how DoorDash, Postmates work, it tells them that like, oh, "Okay, he's at the restaurant now, waiting on the food." Or, you know, he's at the restaurant now waiting on the food. You know, usually it tells him, like, okay, this is your driver. This is his name, you know, like, he's on the way to the restaurant. Okay, now he's at the restaurant. And then usually it tells him, like, okay, he just left the restaurant. He's on the way. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <clears throat> really, you don't really even need to text a customer. But, um, for some reason, it seems like it helps me. Um, so the only, the only, I used to text them, like, hey, I got your order. I'm on the way. And then I used to text them, I'm at the restaurant, I'm waiting for the food. And then I would text them, hey, dude, I'm on the way, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And to me, it's like, it's almost like too, many, too much texting. But I mean, if you want to go that far, I mean, go right ahead. Um, I mean, it honestly doesn't hurt because you're updating the customer every step of the way. As soon as you get the order, you can text and be like, hey, bro, this is Mike, your driver. I just got your order. Um, I'm on the way to the restaurant now. I'll be there in 20 minutes or 15 minutes, you know, and they'll, and at least they know like what's going on because I have some people that'll call me and be like, Hey, so where are you at? Or are you, are you on the way? Or, and sometimes I'm like, Hey dude, I just got your order. So, you know, just, I'm going to the restaurant right now. Um, so some people are really sensitive and in on the app, it tells you like, Hey, your food will be delivered within the hour. You know what I'm saying? Usually it's within one hour. Um, Postmates is a little weird because they, sometimes they give like 30 to 40 minutes. And it's like, that's, honestly, that's too, you know, you should give more time for delivery because, I mean, by the time I accept it, okay, I have to drive to the restaurant and then I have to get the food and then I have to drive to the customer, you know? Um, so I don't know. Sometimes... It's like, you know, they should tell them an hour because, honestly, food delivery should only, should take one hour, you know, or less. Um, so, sometimes I'll get like the, mer the other day I got a merchant and he was like, oh, you're late and all this. And I'm like, wait, what? I was kind of pissed. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about, dude? I mean, I had another order and everything. So, I'm like, dude, I had more than one order, like, and he's like, no, this was placed uh, 20 minutes ago. You should have been here. The food's cold now. I'm like, dude, this is a, a delivery. This is not like, it's not like I'm dining there and then, oh, make the food hurry up and then give it to the customer. No, food delivery is like, okay, place the order. Okay, start making the food, you know? And then like, he said I was late. I'm like, dude, I just got here. What do you mean I'm late? He's like, oh, the, the customer, he's like, I told the customer 50, you'll be in at his house in the next 15 minutes. I was like, dude, what are you talking about? By the time I get there, you have to make the food still, and then I have to go to his house. A delivery doesn't take 15 minutes. What if I'm like 20 minutes away? And that kind of pissed me off. So honestly, <clears throat> if you get like... Uh, a merchant, you know, kind of like puffing his chest out, kind of telling you what to do and be like, hey, look, dude, I just got your order. Uh, I'm not late. And um, if you feel uncomfortable with the customer or a merchant at any time, honestly, I would automatically report them to Uber Eats or uh, Postmates or Grubhub or DoorDash or whatever food delivery you work for. Because um, honestly, we are independent contractors. Um, 
And we don't have to put up with that shit. I mean, if someone says you're late or all this kind of stuff, just be like, hey, look, dude, I'm my own boss, and I had another order, so I don't know what you're talking about, but, you know. And even if the customer gets mad, you know, I, I'm not saying lie and everything, but um, just let them know, like, hey, look, you know, I had other orders, it's really busy right now, there's traffic. I mean, these people don't understand that you're in a vehicle, right? And you have to drive from point A to point B to point C, and many times you get to the restaurant, guys, and, uh, yeah, the restaurant is, the food's not even ready. And they're calling you, and they're like, oh, what's going on? And it's like, dude, I'm at the restaurant. I'm waiting for the food, right? And, uh, honestly, you don't have to deal with that. Um, so the only thing you need to really do is update the customer. That's probably the best thing to do. If you have to text them three times, uh, three up to three times and by all means that's probably the best thing to do but to me I don't really have time for that I mean I tech I give them one text message that I'm letting them know I do have your food now and I'm on the way and honestly I think that's all you really need to do is text them like once you get the food be like hey I got your food hey I'm this is Mike with DoorDash I have your food now I'm on the way and then tell them how long you'll be because sometimes they're like okay he's on the way but like what is it 20 minutes from now or 10 minutes or five minutes some people don't even know like what what restaurant you know could be because sometimes they'll order from a certain restaurant like say they order at Chili's and there's no Chili's by their house say the next Chili's the closest Chili's is like 10 miles away and say there's traffic okay so let's say it might take 25 minutes to get to their house right so they're thinking oh he has the food so he'll be here in the next like oh five ten minutes no, nah, dude, like, you're, you, you, these people don't understand, like, I'm 20 minutes away, or they're 5 miles away, or they're 10 miles, or they're 15 miles away from the restaurant, and, uh, you just have to let them know, like, hey, look, you're, you know, and sometimes I get people calling, like, hey, I, why are you going this way, or hey, why are you late, or hey, I'm just wondering what's going on, and so the best thing to do, guys, is to text them every step of the way, um, let them know, hey, I received your order, I'm on the way to the restaurant now, and once you get to the restaurant, say, hey, um, I'm at the restaurant now. Your food's not ready yet, so I'm just letting you know I'm waiting for it right now, so I'll update you when it's ready and when I, how long it'll be until I get there. And honestly, that's all you have to do. Double check the items. So if there's five items, just double check the boxes, all right? That's all you have to do. Um, I know with DoorDash and Postmates, we're not allowed to open any boxes, packages. If something's stapled, you're not supposed to unstaple it. If something's closed, you're not supposed to open it. Um, sometimes a restaurant will actually show you, like, hey, they'll open the box. This is this. This is that. This is that. So, um, yeah, if you're not 100% sure, you can tell the merchant, like, hey, can you go over the food with me real quick? I just want to make sure. Sometimes you're delivering anywhere from maybe one item up to 30 items. Like the other day, um, I think I ended up, oh, no, actually today I ended up delivering, like, 30 different pastries so i had to like double check like the merchant went like okay these are this is these donuts cream cheese uh strawberry uh, chocolate cone blah 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 and then the other day i had a big order guys 170 dollars i think it was about 30 sandwiches um so i mean i mean if you would just want to go with what the merchant says like hey if the merchant says hey you know uh, you know we made the food it's all there don't worry about it I mean, you can kind of just take his word for it. <clears throat> I mean, most of the time, they're not going to mess up. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes they do miss an item. Um, so it's always good to just, like, tell the merchant, hey, I know you're busy, but is there any way we can go over this order real quick? I just want to check off all the items. So that's a good way to check. And it only takes a minute. Like, seriously, the, he'll go through it real quick. Okay, three three pastrami sandwiches, two hams, three turkeys, two meatballs, um, one, one BLT, you know. I mean, just double check. I mean, that's there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, and if you think it's taking too much time, I mean, just it shouldn't take that much time. Maybe a minute or two. That's it. Um, so yeah, double check the items. Text text the customer. Also, if you're working lunchtime, a lot of your orders are going to be to like businesses. Like the bigger orders are going to be to like doctor's offices. Um, I deliver to the uh, doctor's office, dental office. Um, real estate off i delivered to like a real estate business today um so many times you know they do have their own utensils because they have a break room but many times they don't so um 
the good thing to do is to like ask the merchant like hey can I get extra plates napkins even forks knives and spoons I mean some people like to cut their sandwiches in half or um, whatever you know always get extra stuff and say you're getting like a burgers and a burger and fry a few burger and fry combos or something you know get like a ranch a lot of people love ranch I actually love ketchup um, but a lot of people love ranch too <clears throat> so as for ranch barbecue um, ketchup whatever kind of sauce they have I mean you know obviously you're not gonna ask for taco sauce for a burger so I mean use common sense obviously um, but yeah if you're going to like a you know if you're getting something and it's a bunch of tacos you know get taco sauce or you know some some uh, salsa or chile verde or or whatever any kind of sauce they have sandwiches you can ask for you know extra mayonnaise or um, mustard or whatever um, so yeah always get those always get utensils plates napkins because many times um, sometimes they don't have any of that stuff where they work you know sometimes it's just to one person and they're just trying to eat in their little office and you know if they got to get up to get utensils that that's some people only have a 30 minute break for lunch that's it um so guys you you know for lunch it's you know you got to be on top of your game um dinner's a little bit more laid back but you know obviously you still want to be on time and everything you want to make sure all the items are there but with lunch guys you know being late can result in um them canceling the order which i've gotten a canceled order because um a lot of a lot of drivers canceled on one particular order and by the time i got to the restaurant actually before i got to the restaurant she called me and she's like how long until you get here um and i and when someone calls me as soon as i get the order I automatically assume that it's already late because i've had that happen before and they're like where are you at or how long are you gonna be and so they're not even explaining like hey you know um basically like you know this order is already late like can you hurry up so always double check and everything um yeah always double check and uh yeah always double check the items um always ask for you know plates napkin utensils and all that um so that's what you can do and um yeah always be nice always be polite Text the customer, um, make sure all the items are there, make sure there's plates, napkins, utensils, um, and yeah, and that's all you can really do, guys. Um, I seem to like deliver food delivery better because you don't have to deal with so many different uh, people and everything. You just have to deliver the food. Um, so it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, guys, I just want to let you know how to get good ratings. Like I said, check the items, get utensils, napkins, text the customer, update the customer. Um, if there's a certain item that's out of stock, let them know. Just be like, hey, they don't have ham, they have turkey. If they're out of a certain bread, let's say, say, hey, they don't have wheat, they have sourdough only, or they have French bread only, or whatever. Always that text the customer if there's a problem. You know, if they're out of a, a certain item, if they're... If there's a certain substitution, you know, call them or text them. Many times you can just text them because sometimes people don't like to pick up their phone. Um, so just text and be like, hey, this is Mike. This is so-and-so from DoorDash, Postmates. They don't have this item. They don't have that item. Um, and just let them know, like, hey, I can get you a ham sandwich. They don't have turkey. You know, if they're a certain burger or a certain drink they want. Sometimes they're out of a certain drink like Coke. Oh, we have Diet Coke or this or that. But yeah, always double check the items, text the customer if there's a problem, text the customer you're on the way, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And also, if you're taking more than one order, um, I do both uh, Postmates and DoorDash. I don't really recommend doing both because you can get, um, basically you can double book yourself and if you're not quick enough, one of the orders will be late and... Um, so if, if if you're gonna take two orders from two different companies, um, just be aware that if you're not quick enough, um, one of them will be late. And um, all, I mean, most people are understanding. The best thing to do, guys, when that happens, is to text a customer and just let them know. I I had multiple orders. Um, it's really busy right now. It's lunchtime. 
especially when it's like a lunchtime from 11, to, let's say um, 11 to 3, uh, well, 11 to 2, it's really busy. So um, you can say, hey, it's it's busy, Real, it's really busy right now, it's it's the it's the lunch rush, I had multiple orders, it's going to be a little bit late, most of the time they're understanding. Um, but like I was saying earlier, lunchtime, people only get like 30 minutes for lunch, so you want to get there on time, you want to get there sometimes early is the best time it, try to get there early if you get there early it looks really good on you um so that's how you get good ratings because um i know with doordash it's um 4.5 is acceptable but lower than that you can get fired and with postmates it's 4.6 or lower or 4.7 i think it's 4.7 is the minimum for postmates and doordash is a 4.5 so you do not want to fall below that um that that minimum for the rating because they will fire you they'll get rid of you so like i said guys always check the items <clears throat> get extra condiments plates napkins utensils extra sauces or whatever um burgers fries get can't get uh ranch and ketchup uh if they order a steak get a one sauce they have a baked potato get extra butter I mean, always make sure you, they get all a whole bunch of extra sauces and napkins, utensils, and all that. Double check the items. Text the customer you're on the way. And also, this is very important. When you go up, you knock on the door, smile, say, hey, how are you doing? Here's your food. I hope you have a good day. Smile, be nice, be polite. Um, and that's it. And that's how you get a good rating, guys. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end it now. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I made a, a video earlier on Lyft, um, Lyft raising the rates, so I, I encourage you guys to watch that video. Um, it's very disappointing because I had my AC on, and I did a testing, a little test video, and the test video was fine. But um, now that I go, now that I looked back on it and I listened to my my video I uploaded earlier, it, 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 there was a lot of background noise from the freaking AC. So I guys, I just want to apologize for that. Um, I always try to provide good videos, but, um, for the most part, it's not too loud. I mean, you can hear me talking and telling you guys about Lyft raising the rates and everything, but, um, I always try to provide good, good videos. I know this is from my phone, so it's not the best quality, but it's, it's, it's what I have right now. So, um, anyways, guys, I just want to tell you guys, you know, I'm trying to help you guys out, but, um, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I have over 300 subscribers now. And um, also, I'm, I have five, five, that over five thousand um, views now. So um, I'm halfway done with my ten thousand view mark. Um, if you don't know this already, you need ten thousand views um, for YouTube to review your channel and all your videos. And once they officially approve you, you'll start getting paid from YouTube. Now, when you first start, you're gonna make. Uh, I think it's like you start out at a hundred dollars a month or less than that or whatever it is so it takes a while i mean you got to get thousands and thousands of views a month and uh, i'm not getting thousands i mean I, I think i get like right now i think i'm getting about two thousand views a month so i mean that's not too bad but i think you, you need you need a lot of views a month so i'm just like i said i'm just beginning i'm just starting out and um yeah um guys please help me get the word out I'm trying to, you know, get big on YouTube. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos, like my videos, subscribe to my videos, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day. All right, guys, see you later.